we're on our way to Ullapool, the gateway to the Northwest Highlands of Scotland. And we're staying for the weekend at the Royal Hotel. How grand does that sound? When I said we're staying at the Royal Hotel in Ullapool, I actually meant we were staying in the rear car park of the Royal Hotel. A car park with 10 bays for camper vans and motorhomes. Now this isn't like your run-of-the-mill average hotel car park. This one has well manicured gardens, six of the camper van bays have an electric hookup, there's a water tap and wonderful views up the length of Loch Broom to uh, the, the Ben Jerrick Hills. And the price, 15 quid a night with EHU and 10 quid without, with no obligation to eat or drink in the hotel. However, I would recommend it. The waterfront bar is welcoming. The bar food is excellent with more than a hint of Italian in the menu. And there are over 300 malt whiskies to choose from. And of course, other pool is always worth a visit. The Norsemen chose well when they decided to settle by a late Ice Age beach by, by Loch Broom. Their Ule steading quickly gained prominence because of its fine trading position. It was well sheltered with good access to the western seas and of course there was an abundance of fish. Much later, in 1788, the British Fisheries Society founded the present town of Ullapool on exactly the same sheltered site. It's birth then and its later prosperity were entirely down to the herring shoals. But the fishing didn't last long and today Ullapool is a bustling ferry port relying heavily on tourism with its own campsite on the shores of Loch Broom, probably fairly close to where those Vikings first settled. Today Ullapool is a picturesque portal to both the Western Isles and the far northwest, a window in some of the most dramatic scenery in all of Scotland. Now you don't have to climb one of the big mountains that lie close to the village to get a, a feel for this wonderful landscape. A terrific hill path leaves the back of the Royal Hotel and climbs steadily to a rocky outcrop on a heather moorland above the village. The outcrop is called Moor, but the area has become known as Allapool Hill. <laughs> 